Alrighty folks, it is your boy Seppo Pai here coming at you guys with another vlog. This is the third round of Finnish Championships. We're playing at Sipe Disc Golf Course. I was currently at 8th place and looking to play a really hot round. Didn't get my layup on the first hole, but I just laid up for par. It's a really tricky green, so wanted to start with a easy par. Second hole, flicking my X1 and uh, got that right under the basket for one down for the round uh, the front nine on this course is really difficult um, here i am ripping my overstable d1 through that just a little bit low and uh, didn't get too far but uh, in a really good spot in the middle of the fairway through my d model os here and just early released it and uh, got a really bad kick too we didn't get my third shot but got to here and I'm practically just laying up for a bogey. This is, uh, the as I said, the front nine on this course is really tough. All right, this is hole, uh, hole four. I am throwing a roller all the way over the OB. This was a little bit wide, but at the end it was looking good until I hit that little bit of a weedy area and uh, stayed out of bounds really disappointed for that or about that and uh, decided to just flick around the trees with my h1 got my bogey at least some damage control so i'm currently one over uh, moving on the hole five i'm flicking the same h1 really over stable just trying to get to the left of those trees and fade it back and uh, luckily got very close to the basket and uh, got the damage cleared out from the previous hole to even sidearming my overstable d1 i just barely hit the tree in the corner it was going to be really good and uh, luckily i stayed in the middle of the fairway threw an m3 here threw it just way too wide i was for some reason worried about the corner and uh, stayed all the way on top of the rock or what what is that that's a rock and uh, yeah, really tricky spot, kind of dangerous too. Uh, luckily had that nice gap up in the trees and uh, this was looking real good until I hit something. And uh, we didn't get my fourth throw on the video, but it was incredible. Got to here and this is for par. I gave it a little bit of a run with my PA1, but right under the basket for a bogey. That is not too much of a bad thing because this hole plays about six for average it's a par five hole seven i believe x1 uh that was good um yeah hit, hit a little bit of branch and stayed at about seven eight meters and a little bit to the left side i thought it stayed but it swam through the chains uh, hole 8, I'm throwing my really beat up H1 V2, it's strange that it turns over but it's been in the bag and I've beat it up for a long time so nice hyzer flip disc now, doesn't turn too much, got into a really nice spot, flicked my PA1 to about 6 meters, nice birdie, and uh, this is uh, the heart shaped thing is hazard so you got to get over that i was i thought this was going to be a perfect shot but i hit that branch and then i even get a little bit of a roll away but it's still putting this was a weird putt because i, I have all those branches in my neck somehow uh those branches kind of made me not use my legs like they don't allow me get up but uh however that was a disastrous putt through my x1 here on hole i think that's hole 10 and uh my really beat up x1 nice birdie there i was throwing sidearm so good compared to my backhands hole 11 h1 that was looking just fine i hit the corner tree got an awful kick to the left down the rock and uh, all i wanted to do here is was to get in the middle of the fairway which i did nicely to have this upshot it was just dead straight nothing 
really in front of me but I clipped that branch a little bit stayed at about eight and a half meters and uh, I didn't have too much confidence in my putting that day so didn't make that next hole hole 13 downhill that was looking okay too I was I think I would have been in about circle's edge but clipped a little bit bit of a branch at least stayed in bounds and uh, tapping in for a par hole 14 or no this is not 14 this is this is 13 I think however throwing my h1 dropped pretty close to the basket rolled out of bounds I was practically I was mad at the at the moment and uh, saved my par nice catch from the basket and this course has so many sidearms for me I'm throwing my really beat up x1 here I was happy with this shot and with this line a little worried about it going out of bounds but stayed in once again like seven seven meters yeah that was it <laughs> Okay, this is hole 15. This is the easiest hole on the course. Uh, throw my really overstable X1. A little short, not much, but once again, maybe 7 meters. Happy to make that putt. Not happy about my score anyways. I think I was too down. And uh, I was really ready to finish hot on this round. Until I threw this OB long D model OS. And uh, all I was looking to do was to put this A2 sidearm next to the basket and save my par. Which, you know, I wasn't really happy about anything at this time, at this moment. But a uh, par on that hole, hole 17, a huge Anheuser throwing my M3. I hadn't thrown this shot very well at all, even in the practice, but I was happy about this shot to about seven meters my nemesis distance this round got that putt in and uh, hole 18 all the way over the water 120 meters throwing my overstable d1 and uh, threw it really, really well i had two birdies so far on this hole the two previous rounds and uh, looking to finish three down but not able to do it Thank so you. that was the round, finished the round two down. I think it was a little below a thousand rated, so way below my, my, my average and my level. Was really disappointed about that round. My putting was bad. Some of my backhands were real bad. I needed to shoot a hot round, like 10 down. That was my goal, but not able to do it. I was just having a hard time overall, but that's okay. I'm learning and uh, we have one more round to play today actually i don't think i will be filming around from that but thanks to hanna for filming this round um i hope you enjoyed the video and the king of the forest 2 is coming up soon stay tuned hope you enjoyed it i'll see you guys next time